It's pretty empty here in the Roads of Oz garage, and here's why. Hey everyone, welcome to Roads of Oz. My name is Matt, and what you're seeing here is my last ride on my motor good for Russo. So why am I selling it? Well, that's a pretty good question, and it comes down to this. So at the start of the year, I had a look around and I realized, although my bikes are very much different, they're pretty much the same. And what I mean by that is, they're all road bikes. Now, the GS, yes, it can go off-road, but it's still a very good road bike. And not only that, but it's also the, my go-to bike these days. So a lot of my other bikes, like my Grisso, the 600 Super Sport, and my GPZ 750, they're all nice road bikes. And that's pretty much it. Not only that, having so many bikes on full rego is a bit expensive. The Grisso by Tommy Factory and Rego Insurance and an annual service, you're looking about two and a half grand to keep it on the road. And the 600 Super Sport, well, it's a bit cheaper, but it's just under $1,500. And factory in tyres is another $700 a year because you'll put a set of tyres on each bike every second year or so. And it all starts to add up. Now the Grisso has a special place for me and that's because it was just such a good bike. Now if you'd come to me and said you could only have one bike in the garage, it would have been the Grisso. But I'm fortunate enough that that's not the case for me. For the last eight years the Grisso has been my go-to bike and since I've had the GS, the big trips, I take the GS. So the Grusso was relegated to other duties. Those other duties can be easily carried out by the other bikes. So I knew I had to cut down, thin the herd, so to speak. So I let fate decide. I put the Grusso, the 600 Super Sport, and my GPZ 50 up for sale. And I thought the first two that sold would save the third one. these all up for sale in January and I heard nothing and I'd pretty much given up on selling them I thought well if they sell they sell but I'm not going to panic and then it happened in the space of five days I sold both the Grisso and my 600 Super Sport so as you could see earlier there are no attain purchases in my garage well I've still got the Ducati Dama but it's under repair and I do need to get that back on the road so this might actually motivate me. So the Grisso was almost my forever bike and I thought it would be, especially when I got past the five year mark and really didn't want to replace it with anything. It had to take something special. And I'm not calling the GS special, but it is a very good bike. And I don't consider the GS a forever bike, but it's a good bike now and it totally shook up the dynamic in my garage and it made me look at what I actually had and I wanted to get a bit more variety. I wouldn't mind a track bike, I wouldn't mind a cruiser in my future.
Happy I sold it, yes, but sad at the same time. Will I regret selling the Grusso? Absolutely, but not just yet. And yes, seeing it getting loaded up onto the truck and take it away was a bit sad, but I'm sure I'll get over it. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, check out some of my other Grisau videos just up here.